Having had the uh, original sea bean plate maker for four or five months, I needed to expand my size. I was constantly running into projects that needed a, a bigger cutting area. So this was my attempt to uh, to solve those problems. It's basically the, the same plate maker I started with, and I just expanded the table to 12 by 24, and then I bought uh, you know a thousand millimeter piece of sea beam and two pieces of uh, V-slot, a thousand millimeters, and then just expanded the thing out. Now, some of my other videos will show some of the enhancements I made, like to the gantry plate uh, for the router. Some of the changes I made uh, on this uh, this big plate here. I have uh, explained how these things work uh, and show you examples of how the wheels work. And actually show you how durable the thing is by putting 25 pounds of lead on one end and having a dial indicator on the other. I added a one inch bar across here. Actually, it's a piece of square tubing. And that gives me a place to run the uh, the cable guides on, and it also gives me a, a hollow chase for for bringing wires out of like the X axis from the other end. And I'll have I'll have plenty of room to to run in uh, my uh, limit switches, which I'm converting from micro switches to proximity sensors. I have air that comes in here. This is a little air throttle. It's not a switch. It just kind of changes the you know the amount of air coming out and that's all controlled by that little red relay right there that little solid state sensor that runs off the the cooling pin on the tiny G that in turn turns on this electrical solenoid which is my my air supply it's all attached to this piece of uh, 20 by 60 that I, that I mounted my box on uh, box was easy to build uh, all the parts were cut out on the original Plate maker, all these fan housings and all these uh, plug ports were all cut out on the original one. Sometimes I had to just flip it around because that piece is pretty long. But it's good and solid. It's clear. It cools real well. Got the tiny G in there. And uh, also have that gray box is my um, uh, SSR that controls the, um, the motor. It runs in here and whenever... The, uh, the pin goes high on the tiny G, it starts the, the motor, uh, the router. Also, I have my little zero deal goes in to a specific spot here so I can do my, my touch zero. Uh, my table become too small all of a sudden, so I had to uh, uh, make some improvements. I had to build this. This is actually an all-in-one PC monitor. And I built a took a TV stand and I modified it so it's, it nests in properly for moving around. I got a very congested shop here, but it I run everything on Linux and I use Chili Pepper uh, to you know to feed the the G code and I really like that combination. And I'll have more uh, detailed videos about some of these components like these end pieces and how I put this together. And the way these little tie downs work, they were all cut out on the original uh, plate maker. Just a little plate, just drew it up, cut it out, did a real nice job putting the vise, bent it, and that holds you know things all the way down to surface level improperly. And you can position them all the way around here uh, very nicely, so you can hold virtually anything down. It doesn't take much much pressure; just just a just a fingers turn in this thing becomes real solid. Um, say I will detail out some of the videos, uh, special items on other videos, like this uh, custom design plate I had built by Chris Laidlaw. It really improved my accuracy and cutability of this uh, of the router. And then of course the stability of this, this bigger table. Thank you and uh, keep watching. I'm not done yet.